government plans aside because I think there's a mixture of science and politics when it comes to those decisions my feeling really is um, you know as a doctor to follow the science um, with regards to actual evidence base um, to prevent the spread of COVID um, and but there's another side which is also really important um, as you know we've many people's well-being has been severely affected by this pandemic and if wearing a mask uh, makes you know our fellow um, neighbors feel more comfortable then you know that's a very simple way of us you know showing um, that respect to them and for the many people who have been lost and, and their families left behind um, so I, I feel that sometimes when I put my mask on it's in my bag um, that hopefully that makes somebody feel somebody feel a little bit more comfortable around me. I think we're, I am concerned, but um, I, I, and certainly have seen firsthand, you know, in intensive care what happens. However, at the same time, life goes on. I also have seen firsthand the impact, particularly on young people and their well-being. So we've got to get a, a compromise where we live with this virus, um, as we do many other deadly viruses um, but this one's just got a bit of a higher profile at the moment and uh, we, we don't understand it as well. I am not a great believer in the present government anyway but even they shouldn't be able to screw it up with multiple plans so there makes sense to be a plan A if this happens, if it gets worse a plan B, if you know Martians attack plan C yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's vague enough to sort of work for this government. I would say that I think people are now starting to get to the place where we're all getting back to normal and we're happy with that. So I think whereas before we were perhaps a little more irresponsible and we go out and we go, ah, it's all fine. I think everybody understands that, you know, nobody wants to go back into lockdown. So I don't see any issue with, you know, if some restrictions are placed, I think people will accept it. I certainly would. Um, I don't really think... I don't really think anybody wants to go back into lockdown, so I think everyone would be adhering to rules as much as possible. I do. It's on my hand, on my arm here. Um, yeah, I, I'm not from London, so I'm, I'm, I come up from time to time and, yeah, always put one on when I'm under, underground and all that. So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, shops, I think, less so these days, perhaps. But, um, you, you know, certainly in sort of more crowded spaces, sort of busier shops, undergrounds, things like that, where it's less airflow, then, yeah. Well, I mean, in the sense that um, they've not really had the chance to do this before there was no re rehearsal so I think that they've done a pretty good job you know supporting businesses and people for so long as they have I think is amazing I think it's incredible my worry is how um, our children are going to end up paying for it and we're going to start paying for it soon um, and inflation's already on its way up I saw I heard this morning so I think I think yeah I mean it, it, it was it was you know they did the best they could well I, I think uh, on the one hand side it's, uh, it's, uh, they are trying to prevent the, the spread of the virus, but at the same time, you can see it as a um, li um, limitation of our freedom. You know, it's because, you know, if you cannot, cho uh, you cannot choose if you want to be vaccinated or not, and some people they don't want, they don't want the vaccine, and so, yeah, there are, it's, it's a bit, it's, it's difficult to, to make a decision here.